Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guns and Guitars, and today we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing this three quarter scale single cutaway acoustic electric guitar by Van Goa. Now Van Goa is the company that sent us those Ghost Fire brand pedal boards for the gift away. They are really big in my book right now, not just because they've been treating me so well, but they've been treating you guys so well. They gave me um, a couple of Ghost Fire pedal boards originally for the gift away, and then they decided they wanted to send me three guitars, and this was one of them to include in the gift away. And then they wanted to send me five more pedal boards to give away to you guys. And they know full well that I wasn't planning to review any of their products that was just solely to give away in my 100,000 subscribers gift away video. So they didn't send all this stuff to me, they sent it to you guys. And that to me just shows how confident they are in their products, that their products pretty much just sell themselves. They don't need people to review them, they just need people to play them and the word of mouth is gonna get out. And this guitar is no exception. So I originally told them that I wasn't gonna review this guitar because I didn't think it was gonna be a good value. You know, it comes in at $119 and I was like, yeah, junior three quarter scale guitar, it's gonna be like a first act guitar. And boy was I wrong. This is like a hundred times better than a first act guitar. And for the price, it's pretty, pretty stellar. So shame on me for saying no to reviewing it. I asked them for another review sample so that the one that I'm gifting away to you guys uh, can remain in brand new condition. So this is a review sample that they sent me and I have just been really, really digging it. So I'll give you real quick a demonstration of the uh, both signals together as well as just the acoustic guitar signal and just the recorded signal. So here they are together for reference. <laughs> Go ahead and mute it using the tuner on here. So this is just the acoustic guitar. You're not hearing the studio monitors at all. And keep in mind too that this microphone is not an instrument microphone. It's a video journalism microphone. I'll go ahead and show it to you right here. So you can see it's just a Sennheiser shotgun mic and it's meant for making your voice sound really good and clear, but it's not necessarily meant for making a guitar sound really nice and clear. In fact, when I listen back on some of these clips that I've recorded, it does sound like maybe the microphone does boost the low mids a little bit and scoop out the high mids a little bit, which I feel like doesn't really do this guitar justice. So take the acoustic recording with a grain of salt. I do think that it sounds better in real life than it does through this microphone right here. <laughs> So now I'm gonna go ahead and mute this microphone so you can hear just the recorded signal. So now both of them together again. So, and then obviously you can play with the EQ a little bit. I have it set at what I feel like is the sweet spot. So we can go ahead and turn uh, the treble all the way up just so you can hear what kind of frequencies it boosts. All right, go ahead and turn that back down where I had it at one o'clock. And then we'll go ahead and crank the bass up. So that's the reason why I don't just absolutely dime those settings because the bass does get a bit boomy and the treble gets a little bit, a little too sparkly. It starts picking up more fret noise and more string contact with the pick and stuff. It, I don't really feel like it really does a whole lot of justice for this guitar. If you're gonna be sending the signal to a sound guy, um, I would definitely set it to where I had it because that sounds pretty flat even though the treble has a slight boost in it. That to me, I feel like is the most accurate reproduction of how this guitar actually sounds and that would give your sound guy the best level to start with, I think. Um, I have the volume at 75%, which is good because you always wanna leave yourself a little bit more to turn up if you need to, um, but you do wanna give the sound guy as much signal as possible for 
his uh, preamp and his soundboard. So um, 75% I think is perfect. This is coming from a sound guy, former sound engineer. Um, I always tell people to have their EQs flat and their volume at 75%. So now is this the guitar for a professional traveling, touring or recording musician? Clearly not, okay? You're definitely gonna wanna invest in something better like a Taylor or a Martin or some of those more boutique brands because they are gonna have a bigger sound and when you're playing on bigger sound systems with professional sound guys and stuff, you definitely want to have a much better signal to give them than this. This really is more of what I would call a beater guitar just because you can just throw this around and when your buddies ask to play it, you don't have to be like, oh, did you wash your hands? Did you sanitize? Did you sanitize your eyeballs? Um, I know it's way too many people that have like $3,000 guitars and I'm like, Hey dude, can I jam on your guitar? And they're like, uh, I, uh, uh, uh yeah, just, uh, be, be gentle. Don't, don't breathe on it incorrectly. This is one of those guitars that you can just kind of pass around at a party. And if somebody, you know, steps on it and breaks it, then you're only out 120 bucks. You're not out $3,000. So, um, but don't let the price fool you because I do think that this thing really is a lot of guitar for the money. And if somebody did step on this and break it, I would actually be really sad and I would probably go out and buy another one. So it is it is a really great guitar for that niche role, you know, just to have in your house, in your bedroom, just to inspire you to pick it up and play it more often, or, you know, to keep in the back of your car as a backup guitar so that if you find yourself at the beach or at a park or um, on the, corner of a busy street with your case open trying to earn a few bucks on your lunch break um, it's the perfect guitar for that or you know if you're a singer songwriter um, you just have something always with you in case you get inspired you can pick it up and noodle on it and then that night take it to the coffee shop plug it into their PA and have a decent sounding guitar so here's what I really love about playing this guitar firstly it has this awesome matte natural wood oil finish that just really makes this guitar feel really good in the hands. And I love that it has a built-in preamp um, with a bass and treble and volume and then a tuner output that actually mutes it. So, and then if you mute it, or if you turn on the tuner, you can see it mutes the output. Super handy feature if you're gonna be using this on stage and you wanna check your tuning real quick then turn it off and you're good to go. But what I really like about this guitar is how small it is. And they have it strung up out of the box with some light gauge strings, which if you really dig in, you can hear a little bit of string buzz, but that's mostly because I have it set up with a nice low playable action. There's a truss rod down inside there, so you can actually adjust the setup on this, which is pretty sweet for a guitar in this price range. Um, and I have it set up for a pretty low action, which means that if I wail on it, you're gonna get that string buzz. Again, because it's short scale and because it's got light gauge strings, those strings just flop around a whole lot more. But I actually really like that. Typically, I, I'm not a huge fan of loose string tension, but I feel like acoustic guitars, they're never really easy to play because they have such tight string tension that you can't really do. You can't really do those pick pitch bends that you're used to doing on electric guitar. So, and of course this thing also has the single cutaway so you can get way up there on the frets. So I really like this guitar because it feels like more like I'm playing an electric guitar because I can reach the tiny frets, I can do those pitch bends because the string tension is nice and loose on it. And um, even though there is a little bit of fret buzz, you could fix that by adjusting the truss rod. I just don't want to because I like how easy and smooth this thing plays. And because it's acoustic, I don't have to worry about plugging it in and turning on my amp and setting up you know, effects pedals and stuff. I find myself just picking up my guitar more often because I can practice all those all those pitch bends and good electric guitar licks, I can actually practice on this acoustic. So I've really been enjoying this thing, but that's enough about me telling you my opinion. Let's go ahead and hear some more sounds out of it. So it's got a really nice, full, rich sound, uh, even for being a three quarter scale. If I could learn how to play a little more gentle, there wouldn't be nearly as much fret buzz.
all that fret buzz is literally just because I'm digging in. And again, short scale, light gauge strings, that just happens. Let's, let's, um, let's rock out a little bit. So you can see this guitar is just, it's great for noodling, like a lot more so I think than your typical um, acoustic guitar because acoustic guitars, yeah, they're great for playing those, playing those big open chords, um, which this one I would say is not as good as a full size guitar for that kind of stuff. But for noodling around and just general, you know, bedroom practice, having something that you can just pick up and be playing instantly without having to worry about cables and turning on your amp and all that kind of stuff. Um, or more importantly, having something nice and small you can just kind of keep in the back of your car for when you do go to the beach or to the park just to pull out your guitar and get some inspiration for some songwriting or something. This thing is just awesome. I can't think of a better guitar, okay? I can't say enough good things about the value in this thing. And obviously you guys know how I feel about Van Gogh because I talked about them a little bit, but not only have they treated me super well, but they are treating you guys super well with all the amazing gifts that they've donated for the gift away, knowing full well that I'm not gonna be reviewing those products. They're just giving them to you. And so I think that's really incredible. So can't say enough good things about Van Gogh. I'm gonna be meeting them at NAMM this year. So I'm really excited to meet them face to face, shake their hand and thank them personally for all the gifts that they've given you guys, as well as inspiring me to try out this guitar and realize what a good value it is. And I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars. I will see you in the next video.